Hello children, today I am going to read chapter number 4, A Wonderful Gift from the book Gulmohar, Language for Life, 9th edition, class 3. Now let's get started with A Wonderful Gift. A long time ago, there lived in America a little boy named Benjamin West. Benjamin loved pictures, but he had never seen any pictures except a few small ones in a book. He loved their bright and beautiful colors. His father and mother did not think it was right to spend money for such things. They thought the pictures might take his mind away from more useful things. Except means other than. Take his mind away from means make him forget about. One day, Benjamin's mother had to go out for some work. She told Benjamin to stay in the house and take care of his baby sister until she came back. He was glad to do this because he loved the baby. She was asleep in her crib. For a while, he sat very still. He did not want to make any noise and wake her. Very still means without moving. He could hear the clock ticking. He heard the birds singing. Soon he began to feel a little lonely. A fly sat on the baby's cheek and he brushed it away. Brushed it away means removed something with one's hand in one stroke. Then he thought what a pretty picture he could make of his sister's lovely face and her little hands. He had no paper but he found a piece of cardboard. He had no pencil but he found a piece of black charcoal. Charcoal is a hard black burnt piece of wood. He began to draw. The baby smiled but did not wake up. The picture grew as the charcoal touched the cardboard. The picture grew means the picture slowly became complete. Hair was her round head covered with pretty curls. Hair was her mouth. Hair were her little round eyes and her small ears. And hair were her tiny hands. It was very quiet in the house. He was so busy drawing that he did not think of anything else. He did not even hear his mother's footsteps as she came into the room. Oh Benjamin, what have you been doing? She cried. The boy sprang up alarmed. Sprang up means jumped up suddenly. Alarmed means scared. It's only a picture of the baby, mother, he said. His mother was so overjoyed that she hugged him and kissed him. Overjoyed means very happy. Then suddenly she began to worry. Had Benjamin done the right things? Benjamin, how did you learn to draw such a lovely picture? She asked. I didn't learn it, he answered. I just did it. I couldn't help but do it. I couldn't help but do it means something made me draw the picture and it could not stop. When Benjamin's father came home, his mother showed him the picture. It looks like her, doesn't it? She asked. But I don't know what to think. Is it very wrong for Benjamin to do such a thing? She added. Benjamin's father did not answer. He looked at the picture carefully. Then he handed it back to his wife and said, Put it away. Several weeks later, the priest of their church called on them. Several means many. Called on them means visited them at their house. The priest was a wise old man with a very pleasant face. He was loved and respected by everyone. Benjamin's parents decided to show him the picture. They told him how Benjamin was always trying to draw something. They wondered if they should stop him from doing so. They wondered if they should stop him from doing so means in the past people thought that doing something creative like painting, singing, acting and so on was not correct. Sometimes people were even punished for doing things that were creative. The priest looked at the picture for a long time. Then he called Benjamin to him and put his hands on his head. As you can see in the picture, this child has a wonderful gift. Why should anyone stop him from doing what he loves? He said, 
Let us hope that Benjamin will grow up to be an honor to our country. Be an honor to our country means make our country proud. And the words of the priest came true. Many years later, Benjamin West became a great painter and his pictures made him very famous. Benjamin West, 1738 to 1820, was an American painter. He was very well known for his war paintings. He also taught many artists who became famous painters. And this is adapted from 50 famous people by James Baldwin. I hope you like this story children. James Baldwin was a famous American teacher and writer. He wrote books for children and adults. He has also written textbooks for schools. Now here are some back exercises for you to see and work upon after understanding and reading the chapter and listening to the chapter reading. Do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe our channel Smart Kids Wonder for more such videos and chapter readings. Thank you so much children. Happy learning and do try to solve all these back exercises.